Good morning, students. Welcome back to Language Online Class. Today we will be continuing with the chapter, the noun case. Last day I have ended the class with the portion possessive case. Let me start the class today with a little bit revision of the previous class. So as I was discussing last day what is a possessive case. So what is possessive case students? Possessive case is nothing but in a sentence when a noun possess something that is called as the possessive case. The other name of possessive case is what? It is the genitive case. And always remember students that in a possessive case, the noun will always answer the question whose. Now this concept will be more clear to you when you take few examples like this. Number one, this is Rama's book. I repeat, this is Rama's book. Now this is an example of a sentence which is in possessive case. Now students, in this sentence, I am answering the question of whose Whose book is this? Answer is, this is Rama's book. Next. Next example. Is that your brother's bat? Is that your brother's bat? Now, the same. Whose bat is this? The answer is, brother's bat. Third example. My uncle's house is a long way from here. My uncle's house is a long way from here. This sentence again is answering the interrogative word whose. How? Tell me how. The answer is that whose house is a long way from here. If I ask in this way, your answer will be my uncle's house is a long way from here. So once again try to understand students that the three examples that I read before you and explained to you all the above three questions, all the above three examples try to answer the interrogative word whose. So always keep in your mind that the nouns in the possessive case always answers the question of whose. Okay, now come to the next portion. Now, the sentences that I explained you just now, all the nouns are in the singular number. Rama's book, brother's bat, uncle's house, all the nouns are in the singular number. So, the possessive case are mostly formed by adding an apostrophe and a, an and an s. I repeat, the possessive case is often formed by adding an apostrophe and an s to the noun. But, but when the noun is in plural form, I repeat, when the noun is in plural form, then that time already the noun S is there. Yes, students try to understand that if the noun is in plural form, already the S is there. There is no longer need to add any S. The only one thing which we can add is that to indicate that it is in possessive case, only one apostrophe. Yes or no? Take this example, many boys books are lost. Many boys books are lost. 
so you can very well understand that the boys are is in plural form as because i have said many many boys books are lost so already boys is in plural form s is there so one apostrophe is need to, needed to be added to indicate that the noun is in possessive case number 2 all this hero horses feet are short all this horses feet are short so again it is in plural form s is there it is indicating any plural sense so to to just to add the meaning of possessive case what we can do we can add we can put an apostrophe next third example we saw rows of soldier chains we saw rows of soldier chains now soldier is in plural form soldiers is in plural form only one thing which we can add is that one apostrophe to indicate that the noun or pronoun used to show position is in plural form okay so last we can sum up what is the possessive case that possessive case is nothing but a noun or a pronoun which is used to show position it is called as possessive case now so and another more idea what we got that when a noun in the possessive case in singular number one apostrophe and one s is to be added with the noun or pronoun and when the noun is in plural number no need of adding any s when if the noun if in the plural number s is already there so what we can add only one apostrophe but students you all know very well that there are some nouns that they do they are in plural but they don't end with s yes or no ha huh? take the example for man man is a singular noun but the plural form of man is never mans instead what it is men ha huh? child is a uh, singular noun what is the plural form children i am not saying childs so for all these things when the plural when in the plural form is is not indicated in those cases we can uh, we can uh, make it in the possessive case by adding not only apostrophe but also s is needed to be added yes or no s we have to add otherwise we can never mean it that it is in the possessive case okay so for this type of nouns where the plural is not formed with s we can make it in the possessive case by adding apostrophe by adding also s with it next comes what next comes possessive case of non living things now students in the above examples which i tried to explain you um all the examples i have tried to denote any living thing anything which attributes any living qualities right now possessive case is cheaply used or mainly used when the noun denotes any living thing then only we can say children's toys horses feet mary's book okay but there will be some other cases also when the noun will denote anything without life then that time what will happen that time possession is generally exp expressed by the preposition of okay <coughs> excuse me <coughs> when the noun denotes anything without life that time possession will be indicated by the preposition of 
followed by the noun in the objective case. So try to keep in your mind possessive case is chiefly used when the noun denotes something living thing. But when the possessive case is used to denote any noun which is indicating, which is denoting any non-living thing, that time preposition of is to be used followed by the noun in the objective case. Take the example, the leg of the table, not the table's leg. The cover of the book, not the book's cover. Why, why students, the leg of the table, not the table's leg? Because both the things over here are non-living things. They are not any living beings. But the possessive case is used with nouns denoting time, space or weight as a day's march, a week's holiday, a meter's length, a kilo's weight. For this type of cases to indicate time, space or weight, no need of using any preposition of. Instead with apostrophe s we can use it. Okay, so with this we end the class today, we will be continuing with the same chapter with the explanation of the exercise in the next following class. Today you go through the explanation of mine, try to understand it, open any other reference book which you have in, within the reach of your hand and get a thorough knowledge of the chapter. Till then, goodbye students, take care of your health, enjoy the quarantine days. Bye.